I agree with you, it's the Holy Spirit, but I could not elaborate on it at any length. We have teachings dealing with it. In the book Harpezo and in the book Shadows of the Beast, we address this subject. But you are correct in saying that the restrainer is the Holy Spirit. Where people who believe that generally go into error, however, is where they equate the removal of the Holy Spirit or the removal of the restrainer with the rapture. First of all, in Greek, it does not say that the restrainer is removed. It just says he ceases to restrain. That's all. He ceases to restrain. It is not a removal. Um, and it's not the rapture when that happens. Secondly, uh, if you were to look at the book of Daniel carefully, it is more the angel Gabriel that functions in what you might describe as a restraining role than Michael. They have the wrong angel. They have the wrong angel when we read the book of Daniel. Um, they need to come up with somebody other than the Holy Spirit to suit their presuppositions, so they come up with Michael. Uh, but nowhere does the scripture say that it's Michael who restrains. To the extent there's an angelic force involved in the restraining, it is rather Gabriel, not Michael. Michael has to do with casting Satan and his angels out of heaven. Uh, he's the evictor. He's not the restrainer. Um, the restrainer is indeed the Holy Spirit, but it does not mean that the Holy Spirit is taken. It just means he ceases to restrain. What we might say is, the Holy Spirit is never taken from the hearts of God's people, but he is taken from the world in the sense he will no longer convict the world concerning sin, righteousness, and judgment. That's what it means. I refer you to the books, Shadows of the Beast and Harpezo. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.